Hi folks, welcome back to the shop here at Project Pine Hills. Today we're talking about this Klein Tools three-piece premium all-purpose step bit kit. Now it's got this alphabet part number here, QRST 3PC. You can see here it has a aluminum titanium nitride coating for a longer life. They've got spiral flutes on the bits, we'll talk about that. Look here at the bottom, they're impact rated for both drill and your impact driver. They're mod box compatible. We'll check out the case they come in, that mod box. Here on the back, you can see the features. You can freeze frame this and check it out. One thing I want to point out here is you can see that they're for use on steel up to 16 gauge, wood, plastic, and aluminum. Now, another thing I want to point out is the bits here, are, the, the step sizes are shown here for each bit. You can freeze frame this and check out the different steps on these bits. There's the three different bits that come with it on the side and the different sizes. You can see they have a half inch, three quarter inch, and a seven eighths bit. All right, let's check this set out. You can see it comes in a mod box case. Flip open the top here. You can see they have the part number here right at the top of the case, that QRST 3PC. We have three bits in here. There's a three quarter inch, there's a seven eighths, and the half inch here in the center. These two bigger bits on the outside increment by 1 16th of an inch. The one in the center, this one increments by 1 32nd of an inch as you go down the step sizes. And it also comes with some cutting oil here as well in the case. So let's check out these bits. All right, let's check out these step bits. Here's the seven eighths step bit. You can see here, if we take a close look, it is marked. Not every step is marked. You can see here it's marked at three eighths, a half inch, three quarter inch, and seven eighths. Now the part number here is right here at the bottom. That's kind of hard to see, but you'll notice this step bit, you know, if you're not familiar with step bits, they step down an increment in size. So this step bit starts at three sixteenths. So we go from three sixteenths to four sixteenths to five sixteenths to six sixteenths. And of course that's three eighths. Right, and then you have seven sixteenths, eight sixteenths, which of course is a half inch. So it increments a sixteenth of an inch every time you come down to one of these steps for a total of 12 steps on this bit. So that's the seven eighths driver. So let's take a look at the rest of them. Here's the next size down. You can see this one here is a three quarter inch. You can see that this one also increments in sixteenths of an inch. It starts at four sixteenths, goes to five sixteenths, and then six sixteenths, seven sixteenths, and then of course eight sixteenths for a half an inch. So it has a total of nine steps. You can see here at the top of a bit, it has this split point here, a little cutaway right here on each side. That helps prevent the bit from drifting when you're drilling. You have to take a look at the half inch bit. See it's that half inch here at the bottom for its maximum step size. This one increments in 30 seconds. So it starts at an eighth of an inch and then goes up in 30 seconds all the way down for a total of 13 steps down to that half inch. So this one's of course is for fitting into tighter, smaller spots. Now you can see it's not marked all the way down. You know, some step bits would have markings the entire way down these uh, spiral flutes, which I think can be helpful. Here they've only put three markings, right? See this bit starts at a quarter inch right there. Then we go to three eighths and it goes down to a half inch in terms of actual laser etched markings. You can see the part number there at the bottom. Now, if you're not familiar with step bits, they're primarily designed to drill through aluminum and sheet metal, thin material. You could go through thin, thin laminate or acrylic and generally about the depth of one of these steps is what you're looking for in terms of the depth of your materials. So thin material, and of course, you know, if you're drilling through steel, it's gonna dull faster. This chisel edge here will dull quicker, dealing with something as hard as steel, but generally that's uh, how they work. And these flutes in this drill bit right here, you know, are very similar to what you would see in a standard drill bit, right? Right, this guy's got the same thing going all the way down, works in sort of a chiseling fashion to cut, so it operates similar to your standard drill bit. Now the benefit of a step bit when joining through thin material is you can have this one step bit instead of carrying an entire set of drill bits with you. So that really lightens up your load. Now a step bit, like any bit, can have a tendency to walk on you. So how can you fix that? Well, you can use a punch or you can use an automatic punch like I've got with this guy here. Punch that down. You can see here that it puts a hole in here that gives the bit a place to start. So we pull our bit out, put it in your drill or impact, and you have a place where you can so have a place where you can seat the bit, begin drilling it out. Or you can also use these to create a countersink for a screw as well. That's another benefit of a step bit versus actually using a countersink. Now you can see I have this drill bit next to a Harbor Freight step bit. This one goes all the way up to an inch and three eighths. And you can see this one here doesn't have the spiral flute, right? It's just a straight flute all the way up. It does have the markings at each and every step, right? So I think that makes it a little bit easier. And by the way, when you're using step bits, you know, a lot of times you'll either take a marker and mark what your desired location is, like figure out how big you want at one inch, for example, right here, you would mark this with a marker, or you can take electrical vinyl tape and wrap around 
the bit at that point so you know where to stop when you're drilling into material. Here's a look at a DeWalt step bit, all right? And you can see it's got the spiral flute just like this uh, Klein Tools one. Now you can see here this DeWalt step bit that was ranked number one by the Project Farm YouTube channel. This one goes up to seven eighths. You can see it also has that spiral flute just like the Klein Tools one. And this one of course is also marked at each and every step of the tool. Again, I, I do prefer that. So it's a nice uh, set here from Klein Tools. You know, you get your step bits in here organized. I noticed they were angled and they didn't have these straight up and down. I'm sure there was a reason for that. They probably, when they laid this out, they wanted this, probably this width or this height from the front to back of the, of the case. Comes in a mod box case, which of course has this clear top. When you shut it, of course it says mod box right here on the front. You can push the top down and the clip spring load shut. And of course it'll work with any mod box. If we pull over this deep well socket set, I can mount it here on the front of this mod box, or this one has some cleats in the back. I can go back a little bit, lock it down to place, and take other mod boxes and put it on top. And of course, the benefit of mod box is I don't have to take it apart. I can just open it up, be able to get something out of the bottom, or I can go to the middle where these step bits are, pull out the step bit that I want, shut the case so it can enter at any point is the benefit of mod box. If you flip it forward, get all these latches back here. You can just push in one of these latches, take off the mod box, get to whatever you need to. So uh, really nice kit here from Klein Tools. So if you're in the market for a step bit, it's a good way to go. And especially if you're using Modbox, you can you can mount this on the side of your pack out and you know easily see if you got your bits or not, if they're all there, uh, and have your options and some backups too. And you know you got a three bits here, so it's not like you're going to dull one bit and be out of luck. You've got some extras in this case, so I like that. I'll have a link to this in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think of this Klein Tools Modbox step bit set. Please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue bringing content to you here on this Project Pine Hills channel. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.